Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to the wonderful world of Wallachia, where we had just finished our second offensive war against the Ottoman Turks. We took some more of Bulgaria. We fleshed out our vassal Serbia, and we're going to annex him soon. And we gave one province to Byzantium. We've also further splintered the Ottomans' lands. So he has a Greek area, which could host revolts that he may not be able to handle. He has his Anatolian homeland. And that's about it. He doesn't really have a whole lot left. He's still a powerhouse. Don't 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 discount him as being a weakling. He certainly is not. And I think after that war, we need a little bit of time of peace. We do have a lot of manpower, but we also have a lot of war exhaustion. I would like to burn off this war exhaustion before we think about another war. The next war is either going to be to eat Transylvania, some more of Poland, or Bosnia or Ragusa. Currently, Bosnia, well, they declared war on Ragusa, uh, but Ragusa is winning the war. They're sieging Bosnia's capital. And I get the feeling they're just going to full annex Bosnia. And if that's the case, that's fine. If he full annexes Bosnia, I'm just going to full annex Ragusa. But before we do that, why don't we go ahead and uh, start annexing our vassal Serbia. Twenty-sixth of March. All right. Looming disaster. Civil war. Overextension. Yeah, but the overextension's going away. It's only three provinces. Oh, Castile wants an alliance. Ah, hey. Castile wants an alliance. That's quite tempting. If we do that, we need to break our alliance with Venice. Hmm. We do have an offer for an alliance with Lithuania right now. And since we already have a marriage, that does sound like a good offer. I should probably take that. Yeah, okay. If we didn't already have the marriage, I wouldn't do that. Georgia also wants an alliance, but we don't have any relationship with him yet, and since we're over our relations limit, I probably shouldn't get any new relations. Same thing with Castile. I'll just keep him in good standing with some improved relations, and that's it. Oh, Ottomans, you poor boy. You poor, poor Ottomans. Bosnia will give war reps. Oh, you didn't, you didn't annex him. You could have annexed him. Oh well. Are we actually going to have looming disaster? Is this going to happen? Civil war. I think it's going to happen. Who's Lithuania at war with? Let me check. He's at war with the Golden Horde again. Conquest of Mansur. So he was at war with the Golden Horde a while ago for Bamut. And now he's at war for Mansur. Whatever. He'll probably get it. Golden Horde is weak right now. Oh, we can send our trade ships out again. That's great. How are we doing on trade anyway? 1.3 ducats. That will get more. What's it say at the end of the month? 2.3 ducats. I love it. What's our naval force limit? 7. Alright. But we can build some more soldiers, and we should. I think we'll go just for cannons, though. We have the income for it. Let's just do cannons. We have 6 soldiers. Let's do one more soldier and 3 cannons. There we go. It's a good way to spend our money. And do we want to get some temples, or should I go for more manpower? I'm going to go for more manpower. As much as I love temples, it's just the manpower that's crippling right now. We, our, our nation is so small and our base tax is so low that our manpower is just awful. So hopefully we can do some more military buildings here and get our manpower up. How close are we to westernizing? We're... What, we can do it right now? Seven, seven, eight. No, we're only four techs behind. Oh, maybe Bohemia? 
We're five techs behind Bohemia. Hmm. Now we're 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 just not close enough to westernize. Mm, Serbia's got rebels. Lol. Poor Serbia. Lower the maintenance on our army. Making ten ducats a month. I love it. As much as I want to convert these lands, we really don't need to. The only thing that having unconverted lands sucks is when we want to increase stability, it costs more. Okay, free diplomat. Well, we're almost there with Serbia. Let's get let's keep relations up with our vassals. Because we do want Byzantium to like us. He's currently at 40% liberty desire, and that will increase. As he gains more of his cores, this will increase. Ooh, free stability? Free points or free ducats? Give me the stability. Thank you, game. Hey, that's the second free stability in the last, like, ten years. Great. Oh, we can hit a policy. Accept cultural shift. <laughs> we can culture shift to Bulgarian. No way. No fucking way. If we do that, we won't be able to form Romania, I don't think. Like, I don't think this option exists if we're not um, Romanian culture. Why would I culture shift Bulgarian? That's silly. How goes looming disaster? What are we at? 93%. Ouch. But it will stop as soon as these cores are finished. It will stop. Man, looming disaster is brutal. Although if it happens, it's probably a good time to westernize. You'll just get through all of your high revolt risk all at once. Declare a war and let your allies defeat the rebels for you. Not a bad option, really. Alright, the cannons are done. How long is our truce with the Auto Turks? 1508. 12 more years of truce. Alright, so it's going to be a while before we can fight them. Did you go religious? You did go religious. Oh, jeez, why would you do that? My vassal went religious. So now he's got orthodox rebels. Alright, the cores are in. Looming Disaster is turned off. It's at 97%. Alright, let's go ahead and annex our vassal. Goodbye, Serbia. I really don't want these five troops. I'll probably just delete them. Because, well, we're not at our force limit yet, but we will be soon. Gosh, we still have this. I'm just going to cancel the mission. <laughs> we still had that mission to improve our prestige. Let's get rid of it. We've had that mission for so long. Ooh, Scotland has disputed succession, and Portugal as well. Oh, it's just a weak claim. 42 years old, you say. Ah. And if he dies today, he gets a French noble on the throne. Yep, Georgia just peacefully vassalized Circassia. Well, have fun with that, Georgia. I could peacefully vassalize Theodoro, but no point. Yeah, Georgia's probably a decent ally. Once we have Serbia in our pocket, we can fabricate on Ragusa and go eat him. He's got no allies. Then again, I can do the same with Bosnia right now. 
Do I want to? I kind of do. If I do that, though, looming disaster, it's going to happen, right? Because it doesn't go down. Civil War progress, it, it just seems to never go away. You think it would. You think it would tick down. Like, if it's not active, it would just go away. No, it just sits there. Wow, my revolt risk. Jeez. Even with positive stability, we still have positive revolt risk. That's bullshit. Even with humanist ideas. Wow. That is serious bullshit. Get some more manpower buildings. Good, good. Okay, at this point, we should probably save up our points. And just wait to westernize, because we should be close on tech for westernizing. Just need to wait a few years. And I think, yeah, we should be fine. We'll save up our points and we'll westernize. Nope, no teching up. Not touching that tech. We can store up 1,200 points. So we should be able to do that. Oh. Oh, this is convenient. So because he has religious ideas, he's getting orthodox zealots. And I'm pretty sure they will convert his capital for him for free. Because Byzantium's capital is currently Sunni. And if these zealots succeed in this siege it will flip the land to orthodox. That's really convenient for him. How's our religious unity? 66%. Alright, the Teutons have pieced out of their coalition war. They were forced to release Mazovia, and they were forced to give Donzig to Pomerania. And that's it. They didn't really lose very much. They kept all of their allies except Muscovy, so they lost one ally. And it looks like Denmark and Norway are kicking the shit out of Sweden for some reason. What is this for? Swedish... Oh, it's Sweden attacked Norway and they're getting their shit pushed in. Wow. Poor Sweden. Let's see. Protect our brethren in Slavonia. Protect against the Ottomans. austro africa steel. Uh, improve relations with Transylvania. And uh, nothing I can really do there. I can't protect against the Ottomans. We might be able to improve relations with Transylvania. But the only benefit is three prestige. That's pointless. Where's Slavonia? Oh, that's here. <sighs> These missions are so bad. Gain three prestige. Gain five prestige. That's so bad. There really should be other bonuses than that. I don't like these missions at all. But we probably will go get Slavonia at some point. The question is, should we bother doing it right now? If we take Slavonia, we're going to have a civil war, for sure. Hmm. We could just vassalize Transylvania. We might do that. I don't really want to, though. No, I don't want to. I 
think I just want to go eat this province. When I do that, though, I'm going to be releasing Croatia. Hmm. Oh, Muscovy wants an alliance. If we release Croatia, it's going to be another relationship, which I don't want. You know, we're making enough income. Maybe we should go for some advisors. Well, no, because we're getting subsidies from Venice, and those will stop soon. Why is he still paying me subsidies? I don't get it. I refuse to give him land in the peace deal, and he's still giving me subsidies. It's amazing. Hungary has rivaled Bosnia. Okay. Sure that does you a lot of good hungry. Poland and Saxony. I think Hungary would be a good vassal. I would like to eat this guy. I could feed him Zeppies. Austria would not join because he's four hundred and sixty ducats in debt. Why are you in so much debt, Austria? Holy crap. 400 ducats in debt. Are you kidding me? Oh, rebels in Oltenia. Autonomy or diplomatic points. I'll take the rebels, I guess. Fund the army for a little bit. Do we have a general? No. We could get a general. I don't know if I should risk this guy, though. He's probably better than anything else we could get. Do I want to hire a general? What's my tradition? My tradition is garbage. I'm just going to make my heir a general. Free diplomat. Free diplomat. Ooh. Yeah, get Bohemia. Hmm. We're going to be six texts behind soon. But that's still... Oh, Venice just canceled subsidies. But that's still not enough to westernize. So maybe I should just keep tacking up. Ow. Holy crap. This four-shock general whooped my ass. We lost 4,000 soldiers to a, to that guy. Wow. That fucking hurt. Thankfully, Serbia was there to help. No, we can't westernize. We're, we can't even get a text behind. I would like to westernize, but we're too far ahead on tech. There we go. So Byzantium got his capital to flip to Orthodox, thanks to the rebels. Nice. That's awesome for him. France is friendly, okay. France and Austria are both friendly with me, I like that. When's our truce up?
1508. So 10 more years. Man, that's going to be a while. All right, let's just go eat this. I'm sick of waiting. I got to spend my admin points on something. It might as well be on coring stuff. Unless I want to release Croatia. Do I want to release Croatia? I do. But I'm going to be over on my limit. Die. You're building an army. How dare you? That's more like it. Now, do I full annex them or just take the one province? That depends if I want to release Croatia or not. I think I just full annex them. missions are so bad. If I got an advisor, what would I get? What kind of dude would I want? Better relations over time? Yeah. Morale of armies? Yeah. Land maintenance? Yeah. They're not the best advisors, are they? Since I'm not trying to tech up, I probably shouldn't take advisors. I think what we'll do is we'll core these ourselves and we'll take Hungary as a vassal. And I'll just next Transylvania. All right, say goodbye to Serbia. Gonna be gone in a couple months. Bye, Serbia. Now, are we over our limit? We are by five. And we now have a gold mine. Not sure what to think about that, other than it's a gold mine, all right. Poland and Saxony. Fifteen ninety four. Fifteen forty nine.
I think I should take these. At least Padol. And I would like to release Kiev as a vassal as well. Maybe that's... Well... Let's fabricate. Considering a lot of options here. Hey, Crepes of Cray, welcome back, man. Nobody interesting to claim throne. Missions are all garbage. Truce with the Golden Horde is up. That's fine. Oh, goody. Lose stability. Oh, it's just legitimacy or prestige. I'll lose the prestige. Our legitimacy is bad enough, dude. I wish we had some freaking legitimacy. Three-star general is kind of terrifying, but we can still beat him. Especially if he's in the grasslands over here. He has a mountain province, but his general's in the grasslands. Probably just crush that army. Still only five techs behind, man. All right, say goodbye, sir. Oh, it's 100 Diplo. That's so expensive. I guess we'll just go for the one, then. I'd rather not waste my Diplo. Force religion on him. Now, that is going to trigger Looming Disaster again, unfortunately. So we probably will get get uh, civil war, which I think is plus 10 revolt risk everywhere. Yeah, plus 10 national revolt risk. It's unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see conquer Bosnia. Sure. Free claim. Let's also claim Travunia. Crimea is no longer a valid rival. Okay. Well, who's a valid rival? Poland? Yeah, Poland. Venice? Guess we'll go for Poland. That means I can break my marriage. Oh, lovely. Get rid of another relationship. Fantastic. France, Austria, Venice, Lithuania, Byzantium, Bosnia. Oh shit, I took his trade power. Oh shit, can I cancel that? I didn't mean to take his trade power. I wanted war reps. Cancel trade power. I can do it on the 28th. Alright. Whoops. I wanted war reps. There we go. There we go. Five out of four. I'm still an idiot. How close are we? 99.5%. So it's going to happen next month. Next month we're going to have a civil war, everyone. Hope you're ready for it. I'm ready for it. Maybe I should declare a war first. Now we won't be ready. Holy shit. Transylvania's Tech 9. Wow. There we go. Civil war. Oh. Rebels everywhere. Lose one prestige. Rebels. Oh, they want to put someone else on the throne, do they? A 364 with a strong claim. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. I will take that.
All right, how long do I have to wait? Three, six, four. I like it. They have to siege more than half of my country. But if they do that, then I think I lose my vassal. If they do that, don't I lose my vassal Byzantium? If they break my country and all my allies? Well, we're at the end of the episode anyway. So why don't we call it here? We'll come back next time after I've discussed this with Twitch chat. We'll figure out what we should do here. Uh, he's not a very good general, is he? The first pretender army. But... Holy crap, is he good. A 364 with a strong claim. I like it. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.